Okay, so uh, now uh, continuing with our Derek Crane. So uh, remember, uh, we are still answering uh, this question. We need to determine the forces uh, on each member of this um, crane. So uh, we have drawn our top view and then we've drawn our side view of uh, the crane. And then now uh, that is left, we need to draw our um, vector diagram. So to draw the vector diagram, now we need to separate our, our side. Remember, each and every time when you separate or maybe we are not separate when you label your, your, your diagram, you need to label um, where there is a, where there is a, a load or where there is a point. No? So um, in this case, we're going to use O and um, O M uh, and then K here. Yeah. So it's going to be uh, L on top. Yeah. Then you're done. So um, it's K, M, N, O, and you have L, them. So then now you can be able to draw your vector diagram because your vector diagram now um, will be concentrating on only on this uh, diagram. So <clears throat> on your vector diagram, now what you're going to do on your vector diagram is to uh, start from the point of L, Remember, every time when you're doing, um, when you're drawing a vector diagram, whether it's frameworks or direct crane, we need to, to rotate clockwise. Now, so now we're going to rotate about this point clockwise. Now, so we're going to start from L to K. So from L to K, we have a force of, of 5 uh, kilonewtons going down. So we can draw uh, the forces here. Let's just draw a straight line first. Uh, here, uh, let's let's say this is this point is uh, our point L. No. Then we have L here, and then from L to K is the force of at of five kilonewtons. Again, we're going to use a scale of one centimeter is equals to one kilonewtons in the vector diagram also so we can then measure here then this is the point from l to k we have an have five uh kilonewtons here so this is our point of what of k right and then now um from k to m yeah? from k to m we have this line uh separating these two remember this line is at 60 degrees with the horizontal and also this line it has uh, is uh, 120 degrees width uh, a b now yeah. so now to uh, have uh, the, the, the the letter m now on our vector diagram so we're going to take it from k to m we separated with the line of 60 degrees that means we're going to draw a parallel line with this one so we can measure 60 degrees here. We can then draw our straight line. Uh, is it straight? Yeah, I think it's straight, but then it's not going to be, yeah. So uh, we can then say that this is our 60. Yeah, it wasn't straight. So our 60 degrees, this one is 60 here. And then we can draw a line going up like this. Right. And then uh, we also have L here. L, uh, M is separated with L at 80, uh, at 180 degrees. So again, we can measure at 180 degrees here. We can then uh, say this is our. Uh, so 120, not 108, 120 degrees. This is the point. And then from there, where they are, these two lines meet or intercept is our value of, uh, or is our point M. And then this is the point of one. This point here is our M, right? 
So then uh, now we're done with the M. And then now we need to draw the value of N, the value of N. Yeah. So to get the value of N now at this point, yeah. So to 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 get uh the line now n, num. So n to m it's separated by the straight line of a, of uh this line uh of a b num this straight line. So we can uh, then draw this uh line parallel, na to m. So on top we're going to draw this n. Yeah, let's go up like this. And then from um, when looking at this is L, no? L to N or N to L, it's separated by this line of art of FA. So we need to draw a line parallel to FA. To, uh, to make sure that the line is parallel to FA, we can then measure this angle here. Remember uh, that we didn't have this angle, we just... Um, we just combine these two lines and then from here now you can measure this line it makes one it makes 45 with the horizontal so that means uh this is l which is here l we need to draw or to make a line of it of uh 45 this is 40 here and then we can get what 45 at this point so then now this line complete our vector diagram so this is our vector diagram like this right and then uh, this is the line of it this is the line of n like this okay and then this it's our complete vector diagram oh the last one the last one is o the uh, o is at a straight line we can then just draw a straight line parallel here to this line no? because this one this is a straight line to um here we can then have what this is our line of what of o and then we're done with L, our vector diagram right so this is our vector diagram uh into the uh and under the uh Derek a crane so it's super easy uh, everyone can see this is a straight ABC uh, thing so the following one uh, we're going to be able uh, we're going to do going to complete the top side of uh, this uh, of this uh, of this crane no? and then after that we name our or we be able to give our answers uh here so but then uh before we can continue we, we we can be able to give the answer here because um ml uh so, or uh, sorry a uh, a k m no? this is the force here on what you call on our on our arm so we can then measure the line uh with, with our from our our vector diagram here our vector diagram it's um eight point eight point five six seven so that means this one is going to be eight point seven kilonewton right and then when you go to uh this back uh this uh strut here is going to be um uh, which is m l this one is ml we're going to measure ml here which is uh, 5 newton so we can then say that this one is 5 kilo newton and then uh, remember our scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 1 kilo newton that's why I am not multiplying with anything I'm just taking the uh, the answer as it is but then if maybe your scale was 1 is to 2 kilonewtons, that means we need to multiply the numbers that you are getting uh, on your vector diagram or the centimeters. So, and then also going to measure this one, Mn, 
is 2 kilonewtons. This is mn here. That means this one is 2 kilonewton. And then um, you also need to measure this one. And it's 4.4. 4. So this one, it's mn or it's on. It's 4.4 4 kilonewton. And then um, the last one, this one is n l n l this is the l n l here we're going to have at 6.4 okay so this one is 6 6.4 kilo newton so then now you have the uh the forces here so that means uh you have the force on the tie bar uh the force on the tie bar is ac this is your tie bar is ac uh, and then um, you have also uh, the, the the support uh, AB, uh, which is two, and then you have uh, the two uh, the backwash, which is AD. No. Uh, so for AD, then now we need to uh, draw this other um, side here. So this now to get the force of AD and EA. Uh, we need to, to draw this we need to complete this uh, side so that's what you're going to do in the next video uh, to get the, the, the two back stay you know? and also the uh, the two strat thank you